Dear students, I hope you all are doing studies very well at home. I am your SST teacher and I am back with a new blog, Fun and Games. Students, this blog is also divided into four videos and in each video we will learn a new topic of this blog and we will understand the one volume sheet of the blog. Okay, so this is our first video and in this video we will differentiate between games played at home and in school. Okay students, students what do you do? When you want to have fun with your family and friends, see, we do different fun things with friends and families. For example, sometimes we play games also. Let's learn about different games played at school and at home. Students, look at these pictures. What games do you see in these pictures? Do you play any of them? Students, in which game? Would you need a large playground and which game you can play in less space? See, games like badminton, kabaddi, handball, football and volleyball need many players and wide open space. But board games like Ludo, Carom, Snakes and Ladders, Chess can be played in less space with 2-4 people. Table tennis is played across a big table while badminton needs a big net. Now students, one more thing. Which game can be played in school? Which can be played at home? Let's learn what games can be played at school. Archery Baseball Boxing Cricket Fencing Football Frisbee Gymnastics Hockey Karate. So they are usually played in school because school have playgrounds for students and many players also. Some schools have table of tennis table and net for badminton as we have in our school. Now let's learn about what games we can play at home. Caroms. Chinese checkers, cards, chess, connect four, dominoes, ludo, playing with blocks, snake and ladder, tambola, football, badminton, pool, Crash. Bowling. So they are usually play at home because these can be played in less space with only two four friends or family members. Now students listen one more thing carefully. All games that are played at home can also be played in school. Yes. For example, all the board games that we played at our home, we play these games in our school also. We have in our sports room. Yes, students. But mostly the games that we play in school, for example, kabaddi, volleyball, cricket, we can't play them at our home because in our home we don't have enough space and we don't have more players. Okay? Now, students, I have a question for you to think about it. Why do we play games? How do they help us? See, we play games for fun and also because they help us to relax and stay fit. Students, do you know 
Playing games make our body healthy, which makes our life happy. Okay? Now, it's time to take an overview from our contained book, which is given on page number 28. Now, students, as you can see, there are two pictures. In the first picture, school boys are playing the game Kho Kho and school girls are playing the game Kabaddi. They both are the well-known game played in India. Students, we know when we get bored and whenever we feel like that we are studying for a long hour, that in order to be healthy and happy, we must have some fun and we should play games we should go to circus and fair also to have fun. And about this circus and fair, we will learn in our next videos. In this video, we are learning about the playing games only. Okay, so what we learned in this video? In the school, we have playground. In the school, we have so many students. Yes, so we can play games like kabaddi, kho kho, football, basketball, hockey, cricket and table tennis. Most of these games need some equipment. For example, badminton needs net, cricket needs bats. We need hockey stick for the hockey game and special table and large spaces for many other games that we don't have at our home. So these games also need many players which is also we don't have our home. That's why these games mostly played at school only. And at our home, we mostly play the board games. Ludo, chess, carom, snakes and ladders. We play some other games also. Damsharas and Chinese Whisper. Do you know what is Chinese Whisper? It is a game in which one person whispers or tells something secretly to another person who in return Say the same thing to the next person till the last player say it loudly. Yes, and what is Damsharas? It is a game of acting where one team acts out a word or a face and the other team has to guess the word or the face. So we can play these games. We can play hide and seek also because these games do not need any equipment like net, badminton or don't need any playground. We can play these games easily with our family members and friends because we don't need so much player to play them. See, the rules of these games are also very easy that we can learn from our elder ones and sometimes we can make our own rules also. Okay, student? So, so this is all about today's topic. The next two topics we will learn in our next videos. Let's try to understand our volume sheet. Now, three questions are given in our volume sheet. Now let's try to understand one by one. The first question they are asking, take the games that can be played at home. Circle those games that are played in school and underline those games which you think we can play at home and in school also. Students, Rather than making tick or circle, I have colored the answers in the same color of the question. Let's see the answer. I have colored the answer of the first term in red color. So what games we can play at home? Ludo, snakes and ladder, carom and chess. Now what games we play at school? Cricket, football, kabaddi, hockey, basketball, table tennis because these games need so many players and the third one which game we can play at home and also in school so it is badminton and hopscotch we can play these games easily at home if we have some open space okay students i hope it is clear now let's move to the next question they are asking we have to write three reasons why some games are played in school? See why we play some games only in school? It is because we need more players to play the games. Yes. Next thing, we need playground to play the game that we do not have in our home. Third thing, we need more space to play the game. Yes. And you can also write that we need some equipment to play the game that also we can add but i have written only three points as they are asking the three reasons that's why 
Now the other part of this question, some games are played at home because we don't need more players to play the game. We can play game indoor also. We need less player to play the game. And if you want, then you can include that we don't need any equipment to play the game. Okay, so you can write any of the reason of your choice. Now, the last question they are asking, when can you not play outside even if you have a big playground and many players? Now students, imagine the situation where you have a playground and you have many players also. But in what condition you can't go outside to play? See, it is very easy when it is rains heavily or during a storm or when it is very cold or very hot outside. In these situations, you can't go outside to play even you have a playground and many players. So students, this is all about the today's topic. Now, I hope you all have understood this topic. Now, if you have any doubt related to this topic, you can ask me on WhatsApp, you can call me also. And your homework is, you have to read your contained book page number 28 and 29. You have to complete your volume sheet number 1 also. Thank you students have, and have a nice day.